Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Frank Mlarsic, and in this video, we're going to be walking through how you guys can add a script to your Google Sheets uh, spreadsheet that tracks uh, a dividend portfolio. And that script is basically going to import the five-year dividend CAGR, the years of increasing dividends, and the payout ratio for all your dividend stocks in your portfolio. If you find value in my videos, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on future content. This is Frank Malarsic. So about a month ago, I made a video um, where I showed this GitHub repository with uh, some scripts that you know can import the dividend amount, you know the payout or sorry the pay date and the ex dividend date and some other stuff. Um, and I kind of walked through how to set that up in your uh, Google Sheets and so if you haven't seen that definitely go check that out as there's some steps you need to do in that video Or you can just look through the readme file here, which kind of details some instructions uh, But I made some updates and those are on this new features branch uh, On github and once this video comes out, I should have merged that into the main branch so you can just go to the main branch and uh, It should all be updated there and basically, you know, there's updated instructions here if you want to look through those step by step, but you should be, just be able to follow uh, the instructions in this video if you've already uh, have the, you know, first iteration of the scripts. So basically, all you need to do is just replace the dividends.js file. Um, so I actually have this uh, right here. This is sort of like a burner Google account that I have. And um, so this is kind of like what the initial script is. And then uh, what you need to do in order to get the updated script is just go to this GitHub repository, the dividends.js file, and pretty much just copy everything. Um, and what I'm gonna do is just start from here down because you know these, uh, well, I'll just start from like here down because the rest of the stuff at the top should be about the same. Um, and a lot of this stuff is, is the same, but it's easier just to copy it all. Uh, so you can just copy all that and then uh, paste it, you know, right here into your uh, dividends.js file and then save that there. And the new things that we added um, are these three uh, post variables right here. So the payout ratio, uh, so that's just the column that you want to put the payout ratio in. The years of increasing dividends is the column you want to put the years of increasing dividends and the CAGR is the year, uh, the column you want to put the CAGR in. And then uh, that deals with those three items. And another thing that I learned is that one of these Google Sheets functions can only run for a maximum of six minutes. And so if you have a lot of companies in your portfolio, uh, probably like 25 or 30, if you have more than you know 30, you might run into this problem where it takes more than six minutes for this script to run. And so what I did, is I made this sheet called very ver sheet and that's just to hold some variables and right now I just have this ticker row variable in there and in the future you know I might add some other variables uh, if we want to make it this spreadsheet more complex uh, but I just have this ticker row basically what that does is it stores the row that we're on uh, so this is kind of like a sample of what your spreadsheet might look like uh, so you got your tickle ticker here sorry um, and a bunch of data about that company. So each row is a different company. So basically what this does is it just stores the current row that we're on. And then if per se, you know, if we only get to these first two companies before the script finishes running, um, then next time we start running the script, it's gonna start here at the fourth row um, so that we can update this data on the fourth row as well. So basically um, to put it simply, what you need to do is you just need to create a sheet called ver sheet like this and add these two cells in there and you can even just copy this sheet uh, right here and what you can do is click copy to existing spreadsheet um, i'm going to post you know the link to this spreadsheet in the description and in the github repository you can just copy the spreadsheet uh, but if for some reason you want to change the name of it you know you can change the name here or the column or row that we're going to look at uh, so that's pretty much all you need to change um, and I can run this real quickly. Uh, as you can see in this spreadsheet, I just have a few companies here. Uh, but, you know, for example, the years of increasing dividends isn't filled out or, 
the payout ratio or CAGR, which is over here. Uh, so if we just run this uh, function here, uh, it's gonna take maybe a minute or two to run, um, but I will come back when it's done and show you guys that it did indeed you know, update those items within the spreadsheet. So we should be able to see it running real quick. So we saw that it updated those last three values uh, right there um, for the final company here. Uh, so basically, you know, it's just going through and updating all these values. And uh, so the script, as you can see, is done running. Um, so that's kind of what I had to share today. Uh, let me know if you do have any questions about how to set this up. Um, I definitely want to, at some point, create some more, um, you know, spreadsheet templates, I guess, so that um, it uh, lets people kind of customize the spreadsheet. And because uh, right now, basically, I have these scripts built around kind of my spreadsheet. Um, so if maybe your spreadsheet is formatted a little differently, uh, it might not work super great. So I want to kind of make these as flexible as possible so that people can, uh, you know, adapt them to their needs um, while still having it be a simple process where you don't really need uh, much coding knowledge to do that. So let me know if you guys do have any suggestions or questions down in the comments below. I'll definitely leave the link to this spreadsheet, um, the GitHub repository, and my previous video um, in the description down below. So definitely check all those out so that you can put all these pieces together and uh, let me know if you guys do get this working. That would be super exciting to hear about. So thank you for sticking around to the end of the video and I'll see you in the next one.